Bam! What up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, let me pick these up. Today's vlog is gonna be called Ready to Rap because I'm ready to rap, we're gonna get this thing done. guys don't know if you're new here my name is Daniel I'm the owner I'm the lucky owner of premium auto styling and I'm super thankful that you guys are here watching us today what we're gonna be working on is the Mustang behind me I believe it's a 2018 plus it has the newer style front bumper which lets me know that it's a newer one so if you have a 2015 16 17 the route process that I'm gonna show you here is basically gonna be the same aside from the front bumper I think is a little different the hard part about this car that a lot of people have concerns about in other route shops we all know this is kind of like a deadly quarter panel here if you don't do this right it's very very easy to create stress lines here it's very easy to discolor it's very easy just to mess the quarter panel up and if you are a wrapper or if you want to know about wraps the biggest part of a wrap is the quarter panel the biggest sheet of material you're going to be using it spans from here this corner here all the way up to here meaning that if you mess that up, that's a very expensive panel to have to replace. And learning how to do these Mustangs uh, did take time to get it done right. I will show you guys that in this process on how we feed the material. Basically, I'm gonna heat and I'm gonna start here, push the material out this way. And you have to do it all in one sweeping motion. And you gotta get it right the first time in order to avoid all of those things that I told you guys about earlier. What's up? What's up? <laughs> if you guys didn't know, that's Jack. That's our operations manager here. Say hi. Hello. This vlog, I want to I want to make it like yeah. it's brand new. Like none of you guys have been here. So if you guys haven't have been here before, excuse us for being redundant and introducing yep. everybody. But Anthony over there, <laughs> we can't even come up with a title for him. We can't even come up with a title. He does everything. Technician, assistant, lover. What else? Photographer. Photographer, EDC lover. <laughs> EDM head <laughs> oh, lover. Yeah. professional lover. headbanger. Yeah, Food he lover. does everything. But he kills it here. Got the rest of the staff working behind you, as well as the man behind the camera who's making it happen, Mr. El Jefe himself. Um, like I said, guys, today we're gonna do our best to document this entire process. Let's just get into it. The first thing we need to do is what Anthony's doing and get into prep. Hey, first thing I do is prep, bro. Yeah, <laughs> what he said. What do you do before that? Look at it. Yeah, you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh... <laughs> you gotta take it apart. I, I messed it, up, it, I messed it. up. The first thing you gotta do is take it apart and then you prep. All right, so as Anthony preps the vehicle, what I wanna do is go over everything that we took off. Every car is gonna be a little bit different in what needs to come off and what doesn't. So for the Mustang, I'll show you exactly what was done. Front bumper was removed. We didn't have to remove the headlight because we get enough tuckage here. We have enough room to tuck everything in, so we don't have to remove the headlight. Just one less, one less step that doesn't have to be done. And this is one of the few cars that does not need the headlight removed, almost all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I'd say the majority of them. The majority of cars that you have to take off the headlights, this is the one that we don't. He's Front saying, bumper's off. He said tough. Emblems were taken off. You see here, there was the 5.0 emblem badges. Those are gone. Side skirts were removed. Door handles, That's mirrors, good. all of the vents up top. And then also the window trim right here, which allows us to get a nice tuck right in this area. One of you guys asked a very, very, very good question in the last vlog. You were asking how we store the parts, how we store the nuts and the bolts, how do we keep track of everything? And basically, it's easy. We got our bolt holder here, all the nuts and bolts are in here, but everything's labeled. So Anthony's always done a really good job at making sure you know exactly what's what. Side skirts, all the bolts that are necessary go right there, and you have all your parts here. I did mention that this is a very, I'd say, a little bit more basic car to take apart, so you don't see us going in as in-depth as we would with probably like the vehicle that we just finished up, the Porsche. There was a lot more parts, there was a lot more nuts, bolts, screws, things that needed to be stored, and a lot more labeling. But that's all it really is. It's just going in with the understanding that you're going to need to know where things go, so you need to document it as best as possible. I'm going to have to edit that whole conversation. Jesus. He was gone for five minutes. And I'm just have, have him start. The conversation, he's gonna be filming it and then it just goes to me. I go, What? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh my this god, just I'm just like, No, no, I have to edit this. I'm talking. giving you content, fool. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. No, I'm not mad. I love you. DBK, shout out to Twitch, man. He hooked DBK me, him and his wife. Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you uh, let him know what he's talking about? So, we've got the Mustang taillights here, which are uh, that. <laughs> 
just the absolute monstrosity of different crazy edges and curves, which makes it really hard to tint. And so we do have a pre-cut product, but it is a five out of five squeegee when it comes to uh, difficulty for, uh, for installing it. So we're gonna look into it and see if we can make it a little easier for you guys. To elaborate what Christian's saying is every car that comes in, we always develop product based off of those cars that are here. In this case, we have the tail light here. We wanna give you guys at home the option to smoke it at home yourself. And that's what Christian specializes in here. So make sure you give this guy a follow on Instagram because he is the man making it happen. Any DIY stuff that you're doing at home that comes from premium is designed by this guy. And that's what we're doing here. So we're gonna take this tail light, we're gonna rework it because initially I designed the tail light overlay and it's not so user friendly. Christian's gonna come in, revamp it, make it better. So it'll be available on the website. If you guys wanna get that product, you wanna get the product for this, it's available now. More yeah, yapping with D. walked into my shop trying to get the color. More yapping with D. All right, one of the things that we do here all the time is we write down every measurement of all the panels as we go through the process. We also save this because we wrap these things all the time. For this one, we've probably done 10 times and we've never documented the sizes, but if we keep them on file, it kind of helps us get ahead of things. We could have cut all the panels in advance before the car even got here. Um, so in this case, David wrote down the fender size 60 by 60. <laughs> I'm trying to read his gibberish. I'm trying to make understand of it. Seven inches in length. Okay, I got an idea here. But what this is going to do here. <laughs> oh, you go. You look so hey, lost. I'm lost, now. but I'm going to figure it out. What this is going to do here is going to allow us to cut all the panels in advance so we can have them ready. And that doesn't, so we don't have to stop the wrap process to cut another panel as we go. All right, so at this point, everybody's left for the day. This is probably my favorite time. Not that I don't like having everybody around, but I get to get in my zone. So it's just me here and whatever ghosts that are hanging out in the shop because I hear a bunch of stuff walking in the mezzanine, but that's a whole nother story. Kind of gave me the chills thinking about it, but I'm gonna keep wrapping. I'm gonna knock out the quarter panel. I explained this earlier on the quarter panel. This area is the most challenging. Um, I knocked out the other side without any issue at all. I did have the whole team there, so you guys caught that. But here's the thing, I wanna to attempt to do it myself tonight because I'm stubborn like that. I would love for the guys to show up tomorrow and, and this car basically be done for them. Uh, I know that it helps them a lot, so it keeps them motivated. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna make sure that the guys know that I'm here and I support them too. Even though I'm the owner of the shop, I gotta get my hands dirty. It's part of my nature of who I am. So I'm gonna knock out this quarter panel, I hope. I hope I don't mess up. You guys will see if I do. But the plan is, you know, I'm gonna have to really put a lot of heat here and tension at the, or, and cooling at the same time to get this to lay right. I don't have extra hands here. It's Probably not a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's now 9.30, I'm still going, uh, I'm enjoying, I'm in the zone, it doesn't really feel like it's that late. Been grinding all day. This car is moving along quick, so I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'll show you what's done. Entire side has just been done. I did the quarter panel solo, so I, I, I told you guys it was really difficult to do this alone. So I'll show you some detail work so you know that even though I did it by myself, 
There's no adhesive lines. Everything was tucked right. Came out perfect. Almost as good as the other side. I'll say just as good as the other side, which I have the whole crew on the other side. Um, this area definitely is tough. What we what I had to do is heat it properly, and you'll see that I actually worked the material right here with my palm to push all this air at one time. And really, with this particular film, when you're working with 3M, uh, it's very easy to get adhesive lines. And what an adhesive line is, is when the glue kind of builds up and then it just stays in the film and it doesn't actually leave. It'll always be there. Uh, so you have to have proper heating techniques as well as pushing out the air techniques. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain, but you know, one thing that we've learned and kind of, I would say, mastered over the last couple years is working with 3M material and avoiding adhesive lines. We never let it fly. It always has to be corrected if an adhesive line appears. So you'll see here, that's, that's my biggest concern with doing this panel alone was, was I gonna make a mistake on this huge panel? And I didn't, it actually came out perfect. I'll show you guys up close detail shots, all of the corners. Everything came out real nice. If you guys, if you guys are wondering, if you guys are wondering why they were hugging right now, Daniel's super pissed off because there's a piece of hair from his beard, and he had to take it off, so he's super pissed. Let's and he talk sent about it. it. Let's talk about it. Say it all the time. Is it really your beard? It was my beard. When you're laying vinyl, <laughs> one speck of dust, one piece of hair can ruin a whole entire panel. And I see a lot of people let it slide. You see a wrap driving around. You see a piece yeah. of hair under it. Not here. We've now at this point done this hood twice because we've had dust issues both times. We sprayed down the floor. We've done everything we can. Um, when we sprayed down, when we sprayed down the floor, we shot it with water just to keep all the dust down. It's not that. It actually was a piece of beard hair that fell out from mine or Jack's. It was right here. We we're already done with the hood, and uh, now we gotta start over. Okay. Camera still following me? Yeah. I just want to get you. Dude, I'm defeated by this hood, bro. That's what I was looking for. Not like that. I'm defeated. I'm defeated, and then that's like the real. The real talk is like. You know, I just, I'm not that kind of person. I can't let that shit slide. You know what I mean? Can't let it slide. That's not a bad thing. I was just trying to get the real it. Daniel. Nobody would see it, but I would know it's there and I'd be fucking, I'm upset. This so, is cool. Yeah. This, this is it. I'm upset, bro. Sorry, man. It's a lot of money. It's basically, it cost me, what, now 120 bucks in material to wrap this hood. Keep that camera rolling. You'll never know what you're gonna miss. TMZ over here. Hey, help me cut this here. Let's go. No respect or not. Not one person. Not even me. I was even loud. So obviously we probably won't run these for the customer, exactly. being that he wants just smoked out taillights, but these are, you know, it's just for the memes. Yeah. It's, it's all it is. But show them the other ones you mean. But 
if you guys want them, you kind of got to let us know. We, we don't know if we're going to put them on the side or not, so let us know in the comments. Otherwise, we got a couple other options. There's a, outside of the, the taillights, there's also, by, wow, I can't talk. Outside of the taillights, there's also an overlay for basically everything else that's red on the car that you might want to smoke out. So the rear bumper reflectors, the side reflectors, we got the third brake light, the reverse light, all that stuff you can smoke out if you want, as well as now we've got all the different options. This is what the final product looks like for making it a lot easier to taint these very difficult taillights. And you've even got a uh, certain accent that we might put on the front bumper. This is uh, basically replicating what the Roush front bumper looks like. So you'll see that soon, as well as all these other, we got like a retro style. Like we'll see how those look. We don't know if we're gonna run those either. And there's a couple other things. So we'll see, we'll see. And it's only been what, used to be here in two days? We've been working for two days? Yep. You got yep. all that done in two days? Well, it was actually within like the first hour. Oh, no, I'm uh, kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself, bro. Um, Auto Ego, check me out. Also on Instagram, at Auto Ego Official. So, you know, guys, shout out right there. Love Premium. Their job is, you know, next level. So let's go check it out. Let's Red. do this. I want to talk about it real quick because you put a deposit down like six months ago. Yeah, in July. What happened? So basically, um, the door handle doesn't didn't work. So I had to go back to the dealership, you know, get the door handle fixed. Then I was thinking of trading in for a 2020 C8 Corvette. Now, um, you know, thanks to God, I'm blessed and at the point where I can afford both cars. So oh, I'm, there you go. So I'm getting the C8 Corvette and the Mustang GT, so I'm wrapping both with you guys. Sweet, 100%. so you guys are here first. We're gonna be wrapping a C8 soon. Very soon. All right. It's on its way. Hopefully, um, you know, lots of people are paying over. I'm mean, yeah. at MSRP. They okay. said somewhere around the July range. You know, nice. It's not that far away, but you know, fingers crossed. For a C8 delivery. that's not that far away. Yeah, so we're gonna get it soon. Let's get we're back soon. there and see your car. All right. So Damn. Damn, this thing is sick. Ow. Oh, the GT emblem. Damn. That yeah, looks sick. All that well. hey, the color's amazing. Yeah. You know, I posted on Instagram last night, and I got so many DMs about the color. About the color? The color's satin ocean simmer, shimmer. <laughs> simmer, <laughs> shimmer! <laughs> Excited. Yeah, I think the last minute all the details pulled together. We yeah. did these guys here. I don't know if you noticed those. That's kind of Roush look down at the bottom. Yeah, I love it. Man. Just good. wanted to kind of bring everything together because we did satin black on this lower lip here. And then I feel like it just kind of felt right to all come together. Thanks. Of course, bro. Thank you, man. For your business. Man. Yeah, thank you, man. Thanks for the business. Thanks for everything. As always, fun project. This is always my favorite part of everything we do. You know, we get to wrap the car, and yes, sometimes there's a little bit of money at the end. That's not the fun part. The fun part is seeing the customer's reaction to what we do. And, uh, you know, I think it came out better than we could even imagine. I mean, the color itself is cool, but the accents tied it all together. The little GT emblem, the satin black, the gloss black, all the mix just came out right. And I think anybody who sees this on the road can appreciate it. Let's get it on the road. 